Hey everybody, this is Chuck DeWolf with ArtMastermind.com. Going to talk to Mia La Bruges at the Paradise City Arts Festival. We're bebopping around talking to numbers of different artists and craftspeople, um, how they're looking to market their work, sell their work, and how they're making money these days. Um, I'm going to introduce you, and this is this is the artist, which paintings we're looking at right now. This is Mia La Bruges. Hi, Mia. Hi, Chuck. <laughs> Thanks for having me on. Um, okay, everybody. Um, there are lots of great tips, as you know, for uh, marketing your work. And uh, if you're a painter like I am, you need to get started by having sort of a broad range approach. Um, so I exhibit my work in galleries. I also do shows like Paradise City, um, juried art festivals. And since I live in Virginia, I tend to range out from Virginia, both south and north, along the East Coast, and also into the Midwest when I do the art festivals to um, sell my work. The art festivals have turned out for me to be the best way to sell a lot of work in a short amount of time, um, but there is a lot of risk involved up front. You um, frequently have to deal with things like the weather, and there are a great many unknowns to um, do selling your work this way. but. Um, it has still been the most successful way for me so far. Um, working with galleries is always good. When you do shows like this, it exposes your work to galleries in other states. So just at this show, one of the nice things was I had a gallery in Rhode Island approach me to um, have some of my work in their gallery. So Thank I you. will consider doing that. Congratulations. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Um, and of course, when you do shows in other states, it's a great way to build your network and to build your market and to meet other artists and just learn as you go. I would recommend that you all have a website, have it be very basic, only five pages, that it's easy to navigate. And also, it's a good idea to get into the blog world. Um, a good friend of mine in Philadelphia, David Oleski, you can look him up um, in his blog up. He recommended I started a blog, so I did last month, and it's been a really fresh way to show people my current work and also tell them about exciting things that are happening, you know, for me in my, um, you know, as far as sales or just unique things that happen. Like, it's it's a, a fresher approach than just having a website as a portfolio site. So those nice. are my basic tips, and <laughs> um, you have to be willing to try all kinds of things when you're starting out, because if you just have one strategy, it's very difficult to be the the one percent that will succeed in the fine art world. If you really want to succeed, be aware that you have to work really hard and uh, be consistent and be persistent. Nice. And find a way to create work that you know is going to fit into a broad market. And Mia, where can where can these people find your work and purchase your work? Well, you can contact me through my website, which is www.labergeart.com and you can spell my name L-A-B-E-R-G-E-A-R-T dot com. All right. Hey, thank you so much. Sure, thanks. All right. All right, that was fantastic. We're going to keep bebopping with Art Mastermind. Um, thanks a lot, Mia, and um, we'll see you guys in the next vid.